Hey guys, today's video, I'm gonna call the one and a half airdrop strategy. That's because it involves using one protocol, polynomial finance that currently has no token. And I believe we'll have one relatively soon-ish. And the half relates to that it's on the optimistic Ethereum layer two solution. It's an optimistic rollup. They did announce recently an airdrop of their Opti token to early users. That's not yet claimable, but they did announce a second part of the airdrop, some sort of future incentives. What they're gonna do, from my understanding, I'm not an expert on this one, they, I believe, are going to be giving an airdrop to protocols that are native or that have already launched on Optimism. And those protocols will be able to give out the Opti token as they please. So for example, Polynomial is native to Optimism, which means that I suspect they're gonna be giving out an airdrop of the Polynomial token, plus these rewards in Opti as you know liquidity mining or some sort of incentive rewards. Okay, so let's do this. I'm on the Polynomial website, earn.polynomial.fi, and you see there's three taps at the top, products, portfolio, and docs. I'm on the product section because I wanna use some of their products. Quick overview of what Polynomial is. They're a protocol that has a bunch of vaults that earn you yield on your crypto assets. And this yield is generated by different strategies involving options. And currently this is kind of built on top of, based on the Lyra or Lyra options platform, which is uh, native to Optimism. So I'm not gonna get too deep into what options buying and selling and all this kind of stuff involves because it gets pretty complex, but I will open one of the vaults and we could talk about this particular one and talk about how it works. Important note, this yield is not risk-free. It gives you an estimate, but that's not for sure. You're betting on, this is statistically true, but you are betting on options traders mostly being wrong that their options are settling worthless out of the money. You can see the strategy written down below, but I'll try and give my own horrible explanation. I've never explained options before, but I'll give it a try. The explain it like I'm five version is this is a weekly automated cover call strategy. You are selling options contracts to people that are betting that Ethereum, or sorry, Ether, will be at a certain price by the end of the week on Friday or else they lose all their money. That certain price is called the strike price. And if the price of Ether is higher than the strike price at the end of the week, and the people who bought those contracts, they win. These are called call options, by the way. And if it's under, they lose. Fact is, is that the vast majority of people are losing. Their options are settling out of the money, which means that the premium, the money they pay for these contracts, go to the option seller, which you are. Now, this is an automated strategy, meaning at the beginning of each week, a certain strike price is chosen. And if Ether stays under that strike price by Friday, by the time that the expiration happens, then all the premiums, the money people pay to get those contracts goes to the people in the vault. And that just rolls over automatically week after week after week. So it's earning a sustainable APY. That's actually coming from somewhere. So that's pretty cool. Like I mentioned earlier though, this is not risk-free. Remember if it settles above the strike price, that means that the people in the vault lose money. So this is not suitable for all market environments. If you have a raging bull market that's going on month after month and the, and the price just keeps going up and up nonstop, the people in the vault are gonna lose money. So it's good in a kind of crap market, it's good in a minor bull market and a bear market for sure. But yeah, raging bull market, you do not wanna be in this vault. The different tabs have different information. You can see the performance over time with a little chart. What's important also is the snapshot section that shows you the current state of where things are at. This week's strike price was 3K and the current ether price is about $400 under that. So if it expires at that price, then the people in the vault will be making money. Uh, transaction shows the vault transactions, the price that these the options are selling at. Uh, you can see different strikes. So this was selling for this week. It was at 3000. Uh, you could see earlier it was selling some at 3100 and it, it's done. It's done differently every week by a certain formula. I'm not exactly sure what it is. And you can see the different risks, fees and so on in this tab over here. So now we're actually gonna get into it. I'm gonna show you how to go into the vault. Important note that this isn't using regular ether. This is using S Ether, which is from the Synthetics ecosystem. If you don't got any, you can trade at a good rate on one inch. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty much just one to one. You might have to pay a small trading fee, but get some of that. And you wanna put it into the vault to deposit. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna be using a small amount. And just overall, I don't wanna to risk too much Ether. It just doesn't feel right betting on the price of Ether not going higher because I'm an ETH bull, but 
maybe the realistic situation is that it's going to go down for a bit in the bear market. We'll see. Even though getting into this vault is simple, I mean, in terms of steps, it's not automatic. It's not immediate. So once you actually do your deposit, which is just by clicking these buttons, going through the MetaMask stuff, you may actually have to wait another week for the next round to start for you to get your, your funds in. And also the reverse. You have to wait until the round is over to get your funds out. So you'll have to wait like a week or so to do a withdrawal because you have to wait until the round is totally over. So yeah, don't go in uh, unless you are aware of that. Also, another important thing is that because this is still considered an experimental platform, they're in their beta, I believe, uh, there is a limit of how much can be deposited into each vault. So if you go here, you might find that the vaults are all full. That could be because there's so many people that are expecting the airdrop for Polynomial. But if you do want to get in, the best time is on Friday when the round ends. There's a certain window where you can, where people ha are able to withdraw. So people are getting out and you're probably able to get in during that period. The only thing, like I mentioned before, is that even though you put it in on the Friday, you may have to wait for another week for your funds to be totally into the vault. So yeah, this does take some time, but it's a cool strategy. Give it a shot. Uh, your stuff is going to show up in your portfolio section when it's all ready so you can monitor your portfolio using the websites and that's pretty much it. Good luck. Hope you guys get a nice airdrop and at least learn a thing or two about options and uh, cool stuff on Optimism. So yeah, this is not financial advice and everything I said about options and this platform may be horribly wrong, completely inaccurate. And uh, so yeah, do your own research on that as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.